My name is Amara Haile Selassie. I'm uh, working for International Livestock Research Institute based in India. Uh, today I gave a speech as part of the International Water and Food Forum held in uh, Pretoria, uh, South Africa. The theme was on principle and the practices to integrate livestock into rainwater management. The idea behind this is uh, actually in Blue Nile Basin we have very complex setting uh, in terms of uh, resource distribution, in terms of resource uses and in terms of also the user's impact on, on environment. And uh, livestock as uh, part of the system uses the resource uh, also uh, is part of the resource and also affects uh, the resource uh, distribution, quality and sustainability. And uh, particularly this is uh, intensifying in response to the ongoing uh, global livestock uh, evolution. Hillary has recognized in this respect the role of livestock in terms of uh, water use and uh, the role of livestock interacting with water and uh, how that affects the overall system sustainability and also the livelihood of uh, community. Early has been working in this direction since 2002 and uh, we developed a framework for indicating the livestock water and interaction. Then after uh, we proceed further to more detailed uh, tests on some of the practices now we are in position just to claim that livestock uh, water interaction uh, uh, productivity must be based on principles of uh, improving the water productivity of it and uh, improving the efficiency of uh, utilizing the water productive feeds. I can give you an example <coughs> and probably underline also what I mean when I say integrating livestock into or rainwater management. Just we were working, for example, vertical soil drainage uh, as part of the practice that farmers must adopt. And uh, just we, we run a small uh, model and uh, in that we recognize that uh, as a result of improved vertical soil drainage, like 40% improvement in, in milk yield as a result of residue flowing into the livestock compartment. And the thing what I'd like to say is integration, as far as we don't recognize clearly uh, the ability of the livestock, the cows, to convert the residue produced as a result of this intervention into milk and that benefit goes to the farmers. Uh, it's not, it's not uh, an integration, it's rather a physical association. I think in that respect it's important when we say integrating livestock into rain run, rainwater management is important to consider both, both the agricultural component and also the livestock component. This is one example. The other example is also improvement in, for example, in the feed quality. Probably when you see it, when I say feed quality, uh, that has, one can say, has little bit to do with uh, water, but just, just improvement in one unit of energy content of a feed can save as much as 120 meter cube of water per cow per year. This is a very important amount of water which can be used for ecosystem services uh, and also other livelihood, uh, other livelihood uh, uh, activities. Therefore, more or less, this is this is the area where I was focusing, and uh, we 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 listed out, we identified several more than 40 uh, practices and this must be targeted but to, to, to farm household level and also also to the landscape level because different landscape respond differently to the different practices and also the capacity of the farm household determines which, which practice they fit into because of resource allocation problem and also because of access to access to land and water those kind of things.